I'll tell you how I would approach a slide like this, like we have been approaching all our slides, is to just look at the tissue and uh, hopefully quickly try to discern what the tissue or organ is. Well, you know this is GI. We know we have a big submucosa. We know we have a lot of muscle. Uh, and we know that there is no villi, so that limits us now to either the stomach or the large bowel. In addition, if you look quickly at the mucosa, you can see there's not much here by way of mucin or mucinous in the glands. Uh, so you know that this is stomach. Also, you're going to see that the muscles are not arranged as nicely like you would see in a large bowel for this to be large bowel. So you know it's a stomach. Uh, and let's not get into the disease quite yet. These little submucosal uh, infoldings then would then be a rugae rather than plicae, for example, if it was the small bowel or haustre, if it was the colon. The first thing you must admit almost as instantly or maybe even before that you recognize this as being a GI organ is that you got these nodules here and here and here. And some are in the submucosa and some are in the uh, serosa, like you see here. Some are big, with really big red centers, and some are small. So already instantly, you're thinking, what are these nodules? And really, I know you're thinking, could these be granulomas? Well, if you're entertaining the quick possibility of a granuloma, let's take a look around the edge of them where you don't de see this granular pink necrotic junk. You already know they're necrotic granulomas. You can see a giant cell here. You can see giant cells here. So you already know that these are necrotizing granulomas. Bingo, you got your diagnosis because I told you every time you see a necrotizing granuloma, think TB. Sure, we can make a list of maybe five or eight things which could possibly be uh, necrotizing granulomas also, but none of them are nearly as common as TB. So make a long story short, necrotizing granulomas are tuberculosis until proven otherwise. And uh, similarly, if you were to now do a zeal Nielsen or acid fast stain within this area, there's a good chance you'd find some uh, red bugs within the rest of these histiocytes or perhaps even partly in the necrotic areas representing acid fast bacilli. And uh, this is a really good picture of necrosis because it's granular and you don't see cellular detail. And uh, here's another nice picture of necrosis inside of another one of those nodules in which you could see a neutrophils and granular crud. And here is the uh, middle of one of those big granulomas in the serosa. And once again, whereas out here maybe you could see some fibroblasts, there's no cellular detail in here. This is also necrotic debris. Necrotizing granulomas in the stomach, as anywhere, TB until proven otherwise. And the other thing I want to say is I can remember from many years ago, there was a list of about three or four areas that TB doesn't uh, infect, but I forgot what those are. I think skeletal muscle and thyroid were two of them, but the thing is tuberculosis can infect anything. So don't start putting uh, exceptions into your mind. Necrotizing granulomas virtually anywhere in the body are TB until proven otherwise, and I thank you very much.